What's going on guys? Chris here with Freedom Savage and today's video I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how to find a winning print-on-demand product that's going to make you $10,000 or more per month even if you're a complete beginner to e-commerce or print-on-demand and have no graphic design skills whatsoever. One of the biggest hurdles facing people starting off with print on demand is finding the right design for their merchandise. They may end up putting a design on their merchandise that just doesn't respond to the marketplace and end up with little to no sales whatsoever. Now, there are three ways you can go about finding winning designs for your merchandise. So the first method that you can use is going after trends. If you're knowledgeable about what's trending in the marketplace, you can go ahead and create a graphic design for your merchandise based on whatever that trend is. Now, you just got to be careful with trends because trends are always going in and out so one day you could have a t-shirt with a design you know that's making you ten thousand dollars a month and then the following month you know you're not making any sales so you got to be careful with trending products the second method that works really really well is going after super targeted niches so what do i mean by super targeted niches for example my sister is a nurse and she loves coffee i can come up with a graphic design feature that'll target nurses who specifically love coffee and market it to them. So it's a very super targeted niche that's gonna do really, really well. Now the third method that I wanna share with you is just browsing Amazon. Kind of going through what's popular on Amazon, you can see what other sellers are putting out there for graphic designs, what's working for them, and you can model their success. Now you wanna be careful, you don't wanna copy what they have, but you can go ahead and model something very similar to what they have that's working for them, because you'll know that it'll be working for you as well, because it is selling, it is popular so you just want to model success in that way so now that we've gone over the three methods I like to use when researching winning product ideas for my print-on-demand merchandise let's jump into the computer real quick and I can kind of give you a hands-on demonstration of what I do when looking for these products all right so now we're ready to get started on our graphic design research uh, for our print-on-demand merchandise and what I like to do is I like to start on amazon.com just because they're such a huge platform and you can really see what other sellers on Amazon are having success with in terms of their graphic designs that are really working for them. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to the search bar here and just type in t-shirts. And then Amazon is going to come up with this little box here at the top with different categories. So we got popular categories, retro funny, uh, for foodies. So let's just go ahead and click on popular to start. And what you're going to do is you're just going to start scrolling through and you can see right here these are the most popular graphic design t-shirts that are selling. So you know that these are working. These are working for all these sellers and they can work for you. So you can see that there's a lot of different uh, categories going on here. Uh, looks like we got something for shark lovers up here. Uh, some chemistry lovers over here. Even something for pineapple lovers. Um, what else do we have here? I mean there's a lot of really neat t-shirts. Uh, you can target beer lovers. Here's a cool one. Sawdust is man glitter. I really like this one. I mean, you can target, uh, you know, fathers who are into woodworking. Uh, so there's a super targeted niche. So let's go back uh, to the previous page um, and let's check out for foodies. And again, guys, you know, these are what Amazon's pushing to the top of the search bar. So you know that these are what Amazon's promoting because this is what's selling, what's popular. Um, Here's a really good one, the Pug Rito. Let's take a look at that. This is a really great example right here of a super targeted niche. So you literally have a Pug niche and a Burrito niche wrapped in one, no pun intended. So, you know, you can, you can target two interests with this one t-shirt. So I'm sure that this is a, doing really, really well for this seller. So the next place I like to go when I'm looking for our graphic design features um, is Shutterstock.com. So, for example, let's say I decided that I want to target um, people who might be interested in owls. I have a friend who just absolutely loves owls. So let's type in owls here at the search bar. And then with Shutterstock, you can purchase these designs. So you can go ahead and purchase it and upload it right to your Shopify print-on-demand store. So that's the best part about this. You don't even have to worry about a designer. So now that we've uh, 
search in the bar here, we're going to go over to the left here, and we're going to go to image type, and we're, we're going to search illustrations. Um, so these are what's going to be the best for a print on demand. And you're going to want to avoid things with a lot of background color. You kind of want things to be a little bit more simple, such as this. Um, so let's see what we got over here. Okay, so we got this. This looks like a promising design right here. So we got two targeted niches. We got owl lovers and we got coffee lovers. So this is definitely something that I'd be interested in. Now, my question is, is there enough of an audience base that's going to be interested in purchasing this? Because we want to make sure that we have enough people we can market to, you know, so we can make some money. Otherwise, it's not going to be worth our time. So the way I go about doing that is I go to Facebook Ads Manager. So this is uh, this is where you're going to start doing your research. Um, so we're going to go, we're going to search, uh, we're going to start with the United States. We're going to focus on the United States. I'm going to do all ages, all the genders, you know, just because I don't really know. Um, if you're if you're knowledgeable with your category, you know, you know, is you know, 90% women, you can go ahead and narrow that down to women. Uh, if you know the age range, you can do that too. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with Facebook Ads Manager, but we're just using this just to you know gather numbers. So right now the potential reach is 230 million. So I like to, when I'm doing my research, I like to narrow it down to about 100,000 to 500,000. You know, to me, that's a good starting point. Um, Cause it's a small enough, you know, it's a small enough reach where we can find those, you know, really passionate people, but it's still a large enough number where we can make some money off of these designs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to detailed targeting. So we're going to start off by putting in our main niche, which in this case is owls. And then you can see right here on the right, the size. So we want a big enough size because we're going to also narrow it down by coffee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on barn owl because we got 1.9 million as the size. So these are all the people that on Facebook have liked the page of barn owl. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. So it looks like our potential reach has been narrowed down to 500,000. Okay, so this is all the people that are interested in barn owls on Facebook. So let's narrow that audience down a little bit more. So we're gonna click on narrow audience and we're gonna type in coffee because that's, remember that's the second niche. So we're just, we're just targeting people that are interested in owls and coffee right now. So I'm gonna click on coffee So that's that. So now our potential reach has been narrowed down from 500,000 to 390,000. So that fits perfectly between the 100 to 500,000. I mean, it's not an exact science, but this is kind of the numbers I go by. So right here, the potential reach of 390,000 is perfect. So remember, we're targeting people that are interested in bar or owls and also coffee. So this would be a really great design to put on a T-shirt, a mug, etc. So now with Shutterstock, you can download these and you can upload it right to your store right away. Now be sure to upgrade to enhance license when you are purchasing from Shutterstock. It is a little bit more pricier, um, but it's going to give you the license to use it on merchandise, clothing, and artwork. You know, it's very, very important that you do pay for that. Um, I believe it's about $99 for, let's see, yeah, $99.50 for two images. But you know you're gonna you're gonna have the license to reproduce that on your merchandise. So that's very very important that you do that. Now, if you don't have the money to purchase that, another way I recommend is um, you can download this image for you know two dollars and ninety cents per image. And then what you can do is you can go over to Fiverr and you can find a t-shirt design a t-shirt designer who can reproduce that graphic. So let's go to Fiverr.com. And I'm just going to type in t-shirt design. So then I'm going to scroll over here. We're going to go by best selling. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to look for someone who can, who does t-shirt designs. Um, so this, this person right here, I will create custom amazing t-shirt designs. So they're starting at $10. So let's take a look over here. Okay. So they're going to do, so they've got a couple different options over here. Um, so what you can do is you can contact them, you can place an order, and you can upload. 
this picture and tell them to model, not copy, but model this graphic design. Make something similar. Maybe put their own spin on it. And they can come up with something for you that now you can use and put on your graphic design. Okay, so once you have your graphic design all set up, you're going to want to go ahead and install the Printful app onto your Shopify store. So this is the company we're going to be using to fulfill our print-on-demand merchandise. So log in to your Shopify store, go to the Shopify app store, and look for Printful, and then go ahead and just add app. So that's going to load that onto your store for you. So go ahead and install the app. And then you're just going to want to go ahead and create a Printful account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick for you. Okay, so once you've created a Printful account and successfully added the app to your Shopify store, we can go ahead and start adding products. So over here, you can see what they have to offer. They've got men's clothing, women's clothing, kids' clothing, hats, accessories, um, you know, they got bags, they got iPhone cases, socks, a whole bunch of different options. So you can print your designs on any of these. So let's take, for example, a t-shirt. So you're going to, you know, you're going to go ahead and you're going to pick out a t-shirt you want. So I'm just going to pick this one. Let's see. Let's go with this popular one here. Okay, so just for demonstration purposes, I've already uploaded an image of an owl that I randomly found on Google. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add that right now to our t-shirt that we've chosen. So I'm just going to go to upload file. Um, and here's that image that I found on Google. So I'm going to go ahead and choose it. And you're just going to go ahead and upload your own image that you get from either Fiverr or wherever you get your design. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then here you can see what it's going to look like. And you can, you know, you, you can position it wherever you, wherever you want to. So let's just uh, make sure we get in the print area. Um, and you can resize it too. And it's going to depend on uh, the, you know, your DPI. So you're going to want to make sure you have the correct size, size for that. Um, so once you're satisfied with all of that, you're going to go to proceed to mockups. And then... So we're going to go ahead to proceed to description. So here um, you can see what it's going to look like. You're going to choose uh, what you want. So we're going to go with the men's mock-up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and proceed to description. And then this is where you're just going to fill in your description. I'm not going to mess around with this right now. Um, you can play around with this. Uh, so we're going to go to proceed to pricing. Um, so here's where you can, you know, mark up your prices. This is this right here, $12.95. This is what it's going to cost Printful to fulfill that order for you. So let's say you wanted um, a 50% uh, profit margin, right? So if you wanted a 50% profit margin, you know, you're going to charge your customer $24.50. Uh, so they're going to pay you $24.50, and then you're going to pay Printful, $12.95. They're going to go ahead, print that design onto that t-shirt for you, and then they're going to ship it off to your client or to your customer, that is. So they're going to fulfill that order. So that, that's how that works. So we're going to submit that to the store right now. And then you just got to be patient while that all loads up. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, it's that simple. So from start to finish, we went from researching what's going to sell on the market for uh, graphic design and we did our analysis to see you know what the base of the marketplace is that would be interested in that design and then we went ahead and entered that design onto our merchandise in our Shopify store. All right guys I hope that you found this video helpful for your print on demand business and for those of you who are brand new to my channel please be sure to subscribe uh, hit that bell notification icon so you're notified when I release new videos and comment down below if you have any questions or comments about this video or this topic or any other topics that you might want to see in future videos. I also have a free ebook on how to start your Shopify business which I'm going to link down below. One quick note guys, uh, a few of you have messaged me about any uh, courses that I might recommend about a starting a Shopify dropshipping business. Um, I do have one, I'm gonna link it down below in the description for you. Go check that out if you're serious about starting a Shopify business. Um, it's a really great course, it's gonna teach you everything from product research 
to sourcing these products, fulfilling those products, to marketing those products on Facebook because Facebook ads is a really challenging thing. So all of that's covered in this course. So definitely go check out that free webinar. I'm gonna put that link down below. And guys, until next time, this is Chris with Freedom Savage. Feels right, it feels right. Yeah. I'm saying that it feels right.